After ears and navels, noses are the next most common places to get pierced. Most piercings of the nose are performed through the side of one of the nostrils. Although rare, there are people that want to pierce the cartilage separating the nostrils, known as septum piercing. The surface piercing of the skin at the bridge of the nose is another very rare and interesting type of nose piercing. As opposed to piercing earlobes, where piercers use professional machines, for nose piercing they will usually use needles. How much will nose piercing cost? A common, normal nostril piercing will cost you anywhere from $40 to $90. You should ask what's included before paying before some piercers will charge you an additional $20 to $60 for a nose ring or stud, while others will have the piece of jewelry included in the initial price. As an example, a piercing studio in Portland might charge $50 for the piercing, a nose stud, and any additional jewelry, while a studio in Massachusetts will charge $40 nose piercing fees, without the jewelry, that will cost an additional $20 to $55. A piercing placed through the skin situated at the bridge of the nose is called a bridge piercing and is pretty rare. Depending on whether the jewelry is included in the final price, a bridge piercing can cost anywhere from $50 to $90. For example, a studio based in Minneapolis would charge $50 for the bridge piercing, but you'll have to buy the jewelry yourself. You'll pay a little more for a septum piercing than for the more common nostril piercing, anywhere between $50 to $100, depending on whether or not you'll pay for the jewelry yourself. Philadelphia Studios, for example, charge around $40 for the septum piercing, but you'll have to buy the jewelry yourself. What will you get for your money? Nostril screw Luca normal nose piercing price usually includes the piercing itself along with the jewelry used and information on what you should do as aftercare. Common nose piercings will need as jewelry a stud or nose ring. For septum piercings, you'll usually have to get a captive ball type of ring as jewelry. Barbells, straight or curved will be used as jewelry in a bridge piercing. Are there discounts you could take advantage of? As for any other products or services, crowded places, where competition is strong, usually offer the best prices. You can find discounts and offers in big cities, where there are a lot of piercers offering their services. Don't go for the lowest price though. Be sure to pick a piercer that works in a clean environment and offers the best service with great reviews. When it comes to piercing, customers would be wise to place safety and cleanliness above finding the best deal. Another discount you might be eligible for is the one for repeated piercings. Some studios even offer you a discount for bringing extra clients in, so be sure you ask about all these before you pay. Each state has its own piercing laws and the Association of Professional Piercers tracks the legislation of each state. They also have a database of members that can be checked. Before thinking about the price, look for piercers that have certifications and operate in clean environments. According to the National Institute for Health, the probability of contracting staph infections is much higher in cases if septum piercings. It doesn't hurt as much as you'd think. They do hurt, however, the discomfort is not as bad as people usually think. If you think it would be a sharp, searing discomfort, then you should know it really isn't. Naturally, everyone's discomfort tolerance level is unique. If you have actually had your ears pierced in the past, this will hurt just a little more. Individuals that have absolutely no discomfort tolerance report bigger pain, but they state it passes quickly. Since the nerves in your nose are linked to your sinuses, your eyes will water. Prepare yourself for the reality that a needle will go through your nostril cartilage, however, do not get too caught up in this idea. The worst part is that the needle will be in your face, so you need to close your eyes to prevent looking at what happens. In general, nose piercing discomfort is manageable, and it is worth it if you truly want to get that piercing. Some nose ring metals are safe and some cause allergic reactions or a level of sensitivity. The safest metals to utilize. Titanium, this is fantastic for individuals with delicate skin. It does not just look fantastic, it is also the safest metal for all body fashion jewelry. Surgical stainless steel. Surgical steel is a bit more affordable than titanium and is a really common metal utilized for body fashion jewelry. It is safe to utilize, however, it is not 100% biocompatible like titanium is. Many people can wear it just fine, however, individuals with delicate skin should go for titanium to be safer. Some individuals might be able to pull off using it without any inflammation when their piercing has actually healed, however, gold must not be utilized on brand new piercings. As soon as the piercing has completely recovered, go for the 14K or 18K gold. 
Metals that are not suggested. Silver, sterling silver quickly stains and triggers allergies and bacterial development. Nickel, plenty of individuals get a rash when their skin is exposed to nickel. Any other metal that is not titanium or stainless steel. People usually start off with titanium, and it works great. If you have allergic reactions to nickel in any form, we recommend not even trying the pieces that have a nickel base. Some people got different piercings, and then they switched out to some affordable studs. Don't be cheap with metal that you're inserting in your body. There are several kinds of nose rings. There are many sizes and shapes to pick from, so you truly need to ensure that you know about the different types and sizes of nose jewelry before you talk with your piercer. Some people only know about the common nose piercing stud that is L-shaped or the hoop. They are also called curved nose studs, and they, unlike the straight nose studs, have a bit of a curve to the tail, so you have to turn them in order to put them in. People that got one as their first piercing, reported that it would not come out, at least not quickly anyhow. Ask your piercer what she or he is utilizing to make sure that you have the ability to easily take your nose stud out. Kinds of nose fashion jewelry. Nose stud, nose bone. Nose hoop, circular barbell, nostril screw, L-shaped nose pin aka fishtail, captive bead ring. There are many places in your nose that you can pierce. The most typical nose piercing with a decent cost is the nostril piercing. Other piercing areas consist of septal piercing. This is a piercing that goes through the nasal septum where there is a sweet spot called the columella, the location in between the bottom of the nose and the cartilage. A septum retainer or a hoop is the fashion jewelry of choice for this type of piercing. This piercing must not go through the cartilage itself since that would be unpleasant. Bridge piercing, a straight barbell is put on the bridge of the nose in between the eyes. Since a bridge piercing is just a surface area piercing it will be extremely vulnerable to rejection. The bridge of the nose can not handle much deeper insertions. Vertical tip or rhino piercing, a curved barbell is utilized for this one. Both ends of the barbell will be noticeable, one end will show up on the pointer of the nose, and the other end will show under the tip. Septral piercing, a nose bone or curved barbell is placed half vertically on the bottom tip of the nose. For this type of piercing, some nose structures are much better than others. Typically a larger septum area is more suitable since there is more to work on. Nasaling piercing, this is a tri-nasal piercing that goes through both the nostril and the septum. It will appear like you have two nostril piercings on either side of your nose, however, the piercing utilizes only one straight barbell that goes directly across. Fascinating fact. In Ayurvedic medicine, it is thought that getting a left nostril piercing aids to relieve the discomfort of menstruation and childbirth due to the fact that the left nostril is linked to the female reproductive organs. You risk getting an infection or something worse. Similar to all body adjustments, there are a bunch of threats included. Ensure you find out about these threats and about how to prevent them from seeing that an infected nose will not be an adorable nose. Infection, Staphylococcus bacteria exist in big numbers in the nasal cavity. Indications of an infected nose piercing consist of persistent swelling, pus, pains or discomfort, and extreme bleeding. If you have a bump, this is most likely an indication of an infection. A bump might be caused by an allergy to jewelry or bad hygiene. Necrosis, an unattended infection might result in necrosis, which is the death of tissue in the nasal wall. This might become a serious deformity, and the tissue would need to be eliminated. Perichondritis, this is an infection triggered by the germs Pseudomonas aeruginosa where the cartilage in your nose ends up being swollen, which can cause tissue death. Septal hematoma, if you experience discomfort, swelling, and trouble breathing, then you might have a septal hematoma. This happens when blood gathers in between the nasal septum and the perichondrium. Swallowing jewelry, although this hardly ever takes place, a loose-fitting nose ring might be breathed in while you sleep and result in choking or even death. Rejection, using some metals may trigger your body to reject the jewelry. This might manifest with the body attempting to press the metal out of your skin or, even worse, taking in the metal into your skin. Often cleaning a nose piercing seems like waterboarding. After getting their nose pierced, people are usually informed by the piercer that they have to keep it clean. These are some of the guidelines you usually get from an experienced piercer. Nose piercing aftercare instructions. Wash the area a number of times a day, however not like a regular human being washes their face. That would be incorrect. Rather, fill a little Dixie cup with a saline solution, seawater, and after that put your nose in the cup and perhaps even blow some bubbles into it. 
Hold it in there for about one minute. Do this a couple of times a day to keep it good and clean, and keep it from getting infected. People that followed the guidelines above have stated that they felt something similar to being waterboarded. They easily found that having a little paper cup on their nose didn't inform their brain that they should stop breathing through the nose, so when they blew bubbles, the water would go up the other side of their nose, and their nostrils would burn with the saline substance. Cleaning up the jewelry. You do not need to clean your nose jewelry while you are still recovering. It is normal to see discharge, which might form into a crust. The recovery process will depend upon the area of the piercing. A nostril piercing takes about four to six months to recover, however, other types of piercings might take much shorter or longer. In some cases, concerns with recovery will emerge, including getting bumps, black marks, and scarring, or seeing the skin recover over the jewelry and generally swallow it up. Aftercare products and techniques. To assist with the recovery, clean the area with a saline solution or your own sea salt solution by blending one quarter teaspoon of salt with eight ounces of water. Do not utilize alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. Things not to do while it is recovering. Do not touch it with unclean hands. Do not use moisturizers or makeup. Do not go swimming. Do not get rid of the jewelry. Do not twist it, touch it, or inspect it to make sure it's still there.